I can't get that dream out of my head. It felt so real, though. Battling zombies in Siberia with other presidents, past and future. Saying it out loud, though, I realize how silly the whole thing sounds. Still, it was more vivid than anything I've ever dreamt before. And George Bush gave me an ominous warning about the future of my presidency. Maybe I should play it safe from here on out. Please, you must help me. What the? Who's there? Richard Nixon. Only together can we prevent the destruction of your world. Show yourself now. I'll have my secret service in here in ten seconds flat. You cannot see me, but I am here with you. Uh, are you an angel? Nothing like that, Mr. President. You may call me the Shadow Man. Shadow Man? That's a rather off-putting name, don't you think? And what's this about the destruction of the world? There are unseen forces at work, Dick. Malevolent forces that seek to disrupt the natural order. These are the same forces that are responsible for sending you to Siberia. You mean that wasn't a dream? No, of course not. However, I need your help. Well, what do you need me for? I don't think I can help you, Mr. Shadow Guy. Your performance at Call of the Dead proves otherwise. Now, do I have your help, Mr. President? Your entire world depends on it. Well, when you put it like that... What exactly do you need me to do? I mean, I am a busy guy. I am going to transport you to where you need to be. There you'll find an artifact of immense power. Well, all right, I'll trust you. Against my better judgment. Excellent. Let us depart. What the hell? Where the fuck am I, Shadow Man? Oh dear. This is not where you were supposed to end up. There's a giant mushroom cloud. This place has to be completely irradiated. Don't panic, Richard. As you can see, I have supplied you with protection from the fallout. Well, thanks, but just hurry up and get me out of here. I'm afraid that's just not possible right now. There is a limit on what I can do and how often I can do it. So what? I'm just stuck here? Unfortunately so. For now, anyways. But look around. You are not alone. Just sit tight. I will make contact when I can get you all out of there. What the fuck? You guys again? And just where the hell are we? I don't know. But I presume that you all were spoken to by a mysterious character who calls himself the Shadow Man? That's right. I'm glad I wasn't the only one. I thought I was losing my mind. Well, you might be, Ronald. Just saying. And just what is that supposed to mean? Guys, focus! Look, a sign. Welcome to Nuketown. Nuketown, huh? Fitting name! This is clearly some sort of nuclear test site. I mean, check out these fake houses and creepy-ass mannequins. Well, something has clearly went wrong here. I mean, this place looks like a damn post-apocalyptic wasteland. Just how long do we have to wait for this Shadow Man to be able to send us to wherever he intended? And how did he manage to send us to the wrong place anyways? All good questions, Kennedy. I think we'll have to wait for answers, though. Shh. Quiet, guys. Do you hear that? <laughs> oh, fuck. Again with the zombies. Oh! Nixon, stop crying like a little bitch. This is nothing we can't handle. We've done it before. Oh, right. Sorry. Lost my cool there. Ah, you never had any cool to begin with, dick. Enough squabbling, you three. Lock and load. Do not pray for easy lives, my friends. Pray to be. Ah, uh, shut up and let's get to work. Holy hell, this is a real nightmare. No kidding! This is just like when we dropped the bomb on the Japanese. This is worse. These bastards didn't stay dead. Well, we're stuck here until further notice. Let's hope the radiation doesn't get to us. I don't really trust these hazmat suits. Same here. I don't trust that Shadow Man either, but I couldn't ignore his warning of the destruction of the world. Well, anyone with the ability to just teleport us around like this has to know more than us. Besides, I want to get revenge on whoever sent us to that Siberian outpost. My fingers were frostbitten after that. Yeah, I was spooked when I awoke in the middle of the night to that voice. I thought it was Robert McNamara at first. Hold up, Kennedy. Weren't you in Dallas when you were taken to Siberia? Yeah, I was. When I reappeared, it was like no time had passed at all, but a bullet had zipped right past where I was. For that split second in time that I was gone, 
Someone had tried to kill me. Like it or not, me being transported to Siberia saved my life. It seems like history has been altered. For better or worse, though, that remains to be seen. You don't mean... Are you saying you three knew I was going to die that day and you didn't tell me? Well, to be fair, Jack, I was dropping some pretty big hints about it. Hey, guys. It looks like this toy box has different weaponry than what it did last time. Interesting. Hopefully I can figure out how to even operate some of these weapons. They seem a lot more advanced than what I trained with during World War II. Wait a sec, you guys hear that? Ah, oh, fuck, they got me! Something's coming from the sky, though. We're coming to pick you up! Oh shit! It's that Juggernaut drink from Siberia! I swear this gun I got from that blasted box is crap! I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with this! Well, honestly, Dick, that sounds like an issue with your skill! I have been watching you. I have seen each and every one of your misdeeds. I know who you are. Sounds ominous, doesn't it? Good, because it fucking is. Huh? Who the hell said that? I don't know, it didn't sound like the Shadow Man. Hello there. I rarely get the chance to speak directly to presidents. Rarely? So you've talked to other presidents? Well, that's the thing with being omnipotent. I mean, who do you think gave George and those other blokes the idea to break free from British tyranny? Oh, sorry, not you, Bush Senior. I meant the original George. You're saying that you talk to George Washington? Get out of here. Why would you even do that? You sound pretty British yourself. Well, you see, that's more of a stylistic choice. Makes me sound more sophisticated, don't you think? Not really. Just who the hell are you? Ah, uh, there's that classic Kennedy arrogance. No wonder your family seems to be cursed with misfortune. What a load of bullshit. Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. More to the point, who or what are you? God? Well, I've been called everything from God to Santa to the giant fucking flying spaghetti monster. Pick your poison, Ronnie. Enough with the jokes and start explaining things. What do you know about all of this craziness? Well, Dick, from what I've gathered, you four are being manipulated by the Shadow Man. Real nasty fellow. I mean, think about it. Would any well-meaning, all-powerful cosmic being send you to a place like this? Fair point. But he said it was a mistake. He wants us to prevent the end of the world. You'd have to be naive to believe that. I'd soon rather be riding in Kennedy's limousine through Dallas than trust someone who calls themselves the Shadow Man. Hey, fuck you, Mr. Voice in the Sky! It's Doctor, actually. Look, all I'm saying is that you can't trust him. I can't do much to help you right now, but I am sending you those perk drinks and pack-a-punch from the sky when I can. You're welcome, by the way. Oh, dear. Seems like my time is up for now. I'll stay in touch. Just try not to die, okay? Oh, and uh, don't let the Shadow Man know that I contacted you. This'll be our little secret, okay, boys? Just when I thought this day couldn't get any weirder, I wish I had a bowl of jelly beans. Those always calm me down. Well, what are we thinking, boys? Do we trust this guy? I mean, he is British. Hell no, I don't trust him. He's probably one of those agents of chaos that the Shadow Man warned us about. You might be right, Kennedy. Still, we should play it safe and keep this info from the Shadow Man for the time being. I agree with Richard. We are tangled up in something that is way beyond our comprehension. I'm very smart, Barack. To prove it, I'm going to do the Samantha Says step of this Easter egg. Did you guys hear that? Just what we need, another voice from nowhere. Hold on a sec, that sounded more like a broadcast. And that voice seemed familiar. Wasn't that one of those presidents that we met at Call of the Dead? I think you're right, Kennedy. Does that mean George Jr. is still in trouble? Sounds like we have a lot of questions for this Shadow Man and the other fella. Can you hear me? Good news, I'm beginning to regain some of my power. I should have you all out of there in no time. Well, speak of the devil. Shadow Man. You never told me my son and those other presidents were involved in this. Do not worry about that, Mr. President. Their journey is completely separated from yours. It is a mere coincidence that you find yourselves here in the same time and dimension as them. You're losing me with all this talk of different dimensions. Still, when are you going to fully explain everything to us? In due time, Ronald. As soon as we arrive in Dimension 63, 
all will be revealed. You better be telling the truth. Just stay vigilant, my friends, and ignore any other voices you may hear in your heads. Easier said than done. At least we don't have to do some fetch quest with a bunch of bizarre steps like last time. Not yet, anyways. Shadow Man did say our true mission is to collect some sort of powerful artifact. Kaboom. By the way, who the hell is responsible for these random green drop thingies? Seemed to be a female voice. Kinda bitchy sounding, too. I'm not sure. But hey guys, I just had an idea. There's a fallout shelter back here. We could hide in it till we're saved. That's actually a good idea, Ronald. Definitely a better idea than the Bay of Pigs invasion. Cough, cough, Kennedy. Whatever, dick. That wasn't solely on me. You know, the Bay of Pigs invasion was approved by your boy Eisenhower, right? Now's not the time to debate foreign policy, gentlemen. Not surprised you want to shy away from that topic, Reagan. You knew I'd bring up the Iran-Contra affair. Shut up, George. Hello? Did anyone survive in there? Leave me alone. I'm not letting anyone in here. Someone did survive. Why don't you let us in, Frank? You could be a zombie for all I know. Or worse, a liberal socialist. Amen to that brother. But no, I'm Ronald Reagan. Maybe you've heard of me? So you are a zombie. I loved you as president, but no way am I letting you eat my flesh. Buzz off. You let us in right this second, you little twerp? Hell no. You may identify as human, but I know you're undead. Facts don't care about your feelings. I mean, let's say for the sake of this argument, I let you in. Now, if I do that, I run the extreme risk of you and your companions being flesh-eating zombies. Well, this is a fruitless endeavor. Guess we gotta slay zombies till the Shadow Man saves us. Fuck you, guy in the bunker. You sound annoying as hell. Well, normally I'm pretty good with diplomacy. I mean, I ended combat in Vietnam and opened up international travel to China, normalizing a working relationship with the country. But even I don't think I could get that nerd to let us in. Damn, Richard, that's an impressive resume. You seem to be a much better president than I thought you would be. Yeah, till he screws it all up big time and resigns from office. Oops, spoilers. I do what? I don't believe this. It's the truth, Dick. Oh shit, looks like Ronald Reagan has gotten a bit of an upgrade. Can you lot stop messing with history by sharing these secrets with each other? Now when this is all said and done, I have to go back and poke around in your little heads so you forget what you've told each other. Can't have you ruining my perfectly crafted timeline. Well, speaking of heads, JFK already avoided having his blown clean off. What are you gonna do about that? Good question, Bush Senior. That's what I like to call a fractured timeline. An important event in history was changed, so a new split in the multiverse has been created. Happens more often than you'd think. I can either leave it be, or have another bullet rip through his fucking skull. I, uh, choose the first option. If only you were built different like me, John. I got shot and was back to kicking commie ass in no time. Of course, you are a liberal. Ah, fuck off, you geezer. You should have stuck to bedtime for Bonzo or Death Valley days, not politics. Well, me and Dick over here won our re-election bids with 49 out of 50 states, so clearly the nation loved us. Hopefully I win re-election too. Looks like the Democrats are going with this real weirdo. Last name is Clinton or something. You got this, George. Republicans always win. The only misunderstanding here is how you care that much about a husband who cheated on you. George Jr.? That was definitely his voice. Where is my boy? You need only look up, George. Among the stars, they are currently on the moon. But again, you needn't worry about them. They are from a different timeline than you. He isn't really your son. I'm sorry, Mr. Shadow Man, but that is bullshit. As long as he shares my blood and has the name George Jr., then he is my boy. We had a moment in Call of the Dead our love as parent and child crosses dimensional boundaries. Of course, you must forgive me. I forget you humans operate on an emotional level, even if in the grand scale of the multiverse, it means nothing. Shadow Man, you sound like you need to just get laid. I mean, your Riz game has to be horrible. I'll teach you if you want. I mean, I banged Marilyn Monroe. I uh, will certainly keep that in mind. So those other presidents are on the moon? How and why? Not sure. It must be important, though. Guess the nation listened to me and ended up sending a man to the moon. That's right, Jack. Something I'm very proud to have happened first during my administration. Uh, sorry to take the wind out of your sails, but the Nazis beat you to the punch in the 40s. Group 935 built an entire fucking lunar base up there. 
That's where the other group of presidents are now. At least in this dimension, anyways. Yeah, good for them. I only care about my dimension. And there certainly was no lunar base when Neil Armstrong walked up there. Damn it, these undead flesh sores just don't know when to quit. No kidding, I'm starting to get tired from all this running and gunning. Don't worry, I'm sending you boys something that'll give your guns a much needed boost. After all, there's lots of baddies out there you'll need to send to hell. Ah, oh, it's that pack of punch machine. Now this is gonna kick ass. Go ahead, freak bags. Make my day. This ray gun kicks ass. I wish I had a ray gun. You got something better than a ray gun? You have Reagan. Haha, <laughs> very funny, Ronnie. But I get it, George. I mean, it does suck being the only one without a ray gun, I imagine. I can hold my own, though. I'll just have to keep spinning that infernal box. Ronald, you have a horde of zombies on your trail. I'll have to introduce them to my two good friends, Smith and Wesson. Bang! Take that! But Ronald, isn't that a cult you're carrying? Shut up, George. I just wanted to say something badass. Simmer down, Ronald. Now, to stop myself from having a panic attack, can we talk about something calming? Like, uh, what do you guys like to do for fun? Me, personally, I like eating my comfort food. Ketchup and cottage cheese. That's fucking diabolical, man! Who would vote for a guy that eats that? But, uh, since you asked, my hobby is banging supermodels. Ooh, got myself a ray gun, finally. Anyways, uh, I like to take George Jr. out to the city. He always loves when I take him to see the World Trade Center. He becomes fixated on him. He has ever since he was a boy. That's a bit weird, don't you think? Not at all. He probably just dreams of building something big like that one day. He always loved playing with blocks as a kid, building them high, and then knocking them down. To be honest, even I don't know what Donald's planning to do with that thing. I just hope the real device can be used to defeat this nasty woman, as Donald would call her. I think something big is going down on the moon. What that is, though, I have no earthly idea. Huh. Get it? Earthly? Why do I remember your jokes being funnier than they actually are? Well, bad puns aside, I think he's on to something. I'm worried about our presidential pals up there. Again, I warn you, do not worry. Their fates do not concern us or our ultimate mission. We don't even know what our mission is. We're blindly putting our lives in your hands. You need to start explaining things quick. Calm down, Richard. You will know soon enough. Should you live through this day. I am very close to being able to free you from this hellish place. Yeah, Dick, just relax. To be fair, he is telling the truth about trying to get you out of there. But his ultimate goal is to use you for his own twisted scheme to take over the world. I don't know. Seems like you're already pulling the strings around here, Doctor, whoever you are. I don't trust you. You'll come around, John. They always do. Richthofen certainly did. He was buddy-buddy with the Shadow Man once, too. Oh, I forgot. You four don't know about them. As much trouble as he and the others were, I do miss them. More meaningless names, I'm afraid. The only Richthofen I know is the Red Baron. Sayonara, suckers. I fixed this teleporter in here, and now I can leave for a zombie-free paradise. And just because it'd be funny, I'm locking the bunker door. Good luck getting in now, you zombies. <laughs> Damn it! I swear, if we ever meet that twerp again, I'm wringing his scrawny little neck! Well, I'm sure the chances of that happening are pretty low, Kennedy. We're not even in our home dimensions or time period. Well, I never thought I'd see you fucks again. These versions of you anyways, but here we are. Someone help me! I'm down! I'm coming, Jack! Off your ass, Kennedy! Man, I feel like Lee Harvey Oswald with this sniper rifle. Uh-huh. Very funny. Well, we've been holding back these jokes since Siberia. Now that you know the truth about what was supposed to happen to you, we can all laugh about it. You're cruel, Nixon. I'd never joke about that sort of thing, John. Man, this RPG is just like the weapons I sold to the Iranians behind Congress's back. Personally, I'm a fan of this gun I'm using now. It appears to be called the M27. I really hope we get to use this weapon in the next location we visit. It'd be a real shame to never get to use such a beautiful weapon again. Now I do what needs to be done. Wait, 
Donald, what are you talking about? Just what is going on up there? Sounds like that Donald Trump fella has something planned. Oh no. Something catastrophic is about to take place, and you do not want to be there when it does. Then you better get us the hell out of here, right this second! I'm sorry. I can't right now. Just wait a little bit longer. Damn it, Shadow Man. Now we've been patient for long enough. We're in this nightmare because of you. You owe us an explanation. You're right, Dick. I can't give you the full rundown, though. It'd melt your mortal minds. There are two factions at war. The Apothecons and the Keepers. The Keepers are our true enemy. They are mostly responsible for the unstable nature of the multiverse. Mostly responsible? There are forces that are not of Dark Aether origin that also seek to sow chaos amongst the dimensions. The most recent case was a demon who had impersonated one of the other presidents that you met. I still don't know where he came from, but they managed to banish him from this plane of existence. Ending his corruption. Dark, ether, demons impersonating presidents? What on earth? I seem to have gotten carried away. All of that is irrelevant knowledge to you. Our focus is preventing the destruction of your world. Nothing else. Well, now I have more questions than answers. Surprisingly, a lot of what he said was actually true. The power, the power is all mine. What the hell? Was that Donald? I heard his voice clear as day, loud as thunder. He has taken control of the Aether's power. This world will soon be thrown into chaos. You four! Don't think I don't see you down there. I don't know why you're in Nuketown, but I will destroy you all. I thought he liked us. I mean, we helped him out during Call of the Dead. He has been corrupted by the Aether's influence. And look, the zombie's eyes have changed color too. None of that matters now. You have a much bigger problem to worry about. Well, three of them, actually. Right now, a trio of rockets are headed towards the Earth from the moon. You will not survive if you stay there. What?! Oh, God. I don't want to die. Mommy, help! Fuck all of this, guys! We gotta go break into that bunker! Open up, please. The door won't budge. Please! For the love of God, open up! Shadow Man, please help us! Hold on, gentlemen. I've got you. Holy shit. Cut it a bit too close for comfort there, Shadow Man. Uh oh. I think Richard shit himself. I thought I was gonna die, okay? Where the hell are we anyways? Welcome, my friends, to Morgue City. Oh? What's that? You're still here. Well, since you're here, can I please have your attention for a moment? See, word on the street is that Joshua Shaw. Yeah, you know the one, the guy with the YouTube channel. I hear he's really close to 50,000 subscribers. If you would just take one second out of your day to hit that little button below the video, I bet he'd really appreciate it. And if you do... This is my promise to you. Free gobble gums for all. Courtesy of yours truly, Dr. Monty. Or, of course, I could just wipe you from existence. Choice is yours. Well, either way, have a great day.